cast were having a great time on the set. We just didn't know they were this happy to be near one another. And yeah, we have some secrets about the set and the filming that you're going to want to hear if you're a diehard fan of TGW. So here are the good witch bloopers that are even better than the show. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 15. Catherine Bell showed us what a rehearsal looks like. A rehearsal looks like. Where's my stand in? Oh, she's actually the Good Witch, aka Catherine Bell, made a 17 minute Instagram live stream, and she started it with showing us what a rehearsal looks like. As you can see, there's a lot of people on the set, and they are all getting busy preparing for their parts. But the most interesting part of it all was when Catherine showed us how close she is with the cameraman and the writers. One of them even said that she's the kindest person he has ever known. At that moment, our star was so moved that she wanted to give him a hug, but they couldn't due to COVID-19. Number 14. They have special machines to keep the rain from going all over the set. Apparently this is for rain. Um, I'm going to be giving spoilers. Something comes over Middleton, um, which causes it to rain. When showing us what the set of The Good Witch looks like behind the camera, Bailey took us way in the back and she showed us a little preview of a special contraption that's used to trap in the water. Whenever they have a rain scene on the show, they use this to collect the water and avoid it getting all over the set. Now you know how they're able to simulate rain indoors. And we would love for you to keep watching because at number 10, we'll tell you what the cast thinks of Bond's British accent. Number 13, the gray lady painting was retouched for the show. This is the gray lady, Elizabeth Merowick, oh. and she is Cassie Nightingale's relative. Wow. And is she the living room of the gray house has become an iconic piece of the set. And as Catherine Disher told us, she's one of Cassandra Nightingale's elder relatives. Now, we don't really know whether she's her great or great great aunt, but we do know that there was some retouching done to the painting before they smashed that like button just like you should do if you haven't already. But no, the retouching was done before they started taping the show. Number 12, the bistro was initially a room for table reads. It's actually just set up because we had a huge cast table read where everyone sits down and reads the latest uh, script or the latest draft for the next. Again, Bailey is one of the biggest goofballs on the set, and she has done so many videos where she shows us all sorts of behind the scenes footage. In the beginning of the series, the bistro didn't really exist. The place where they built the set was actually the room where the cast did their large table reads. But the crew had decided to turn that single table into a bistro where they could actually shoot some of the scenes. And some of the actors still come there to rehearse their lines. Number 11. And you shouldn't eat anything on the counter of the bistro. Don't eat anything off the counter is no, your advice. No, no, some of those cookies have been there for, for a long time. Well, I kind of recognize some of the chocolate dip. One of the secrets that Maddie talked about and also Catherine Disher mentioned is that you should never, under any circumstances, eat any of the treats, bagels, and cookies that are left on the set. Why? Well, it's not like the crew forbids the cast to eat them. It's simply that the cookies have been standing on the counter for several seasons. Not days seasons. So even though Maddie is a foodaholic, she wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot stick, let alone eat them. Number 10. The young stars love Bond's British accent. No, I like your British accent. Be British. Doesn't be, be yourself. Be yourself. Um, hi. This one is kind of obvious, but come on. Who would ever say that a British accent sounds terrible? Just like every Brit out there, Bond is one of those lucky guys that's hot and has that hot British accent on top of everything. Here, you can hear the cast telling him to keep his accent as a way of being him. But we know why Bailey insisted he speak British. Wink, wink. Number 9. Bailey is really close with everyone on the set. Because she's such a positive and outgoing person that loves her job, she likes to talk to everyone and anyone on the set. Here you can see her trying to bite one of her makeup ladies, and then she filmed a little bit with all of the cameramen telling her YouTube fans how much she loves everyone. If you don't believe us, here's her skipping to the set with one of the crew members. If you like the pics we had for you so far, 
Make sure to keep on watching because in number 6, we'll show you how sometimes it's really hard filming the scenes. Number 8. Everyone on the set loves the Belle Book and Candle Store. Some crystals. This is her mortar and pestle where she makes her potions. Wait, what would you use this for? Little tiny drink. Even though it's fake and the actual store doesn't exist, the inside of Cassie's The Bell Book and Candle Store is filled with little souvenirs and gifts that everyone from the set wants to take home. Maybe that's because they smell good, or maybe it's because they look quirky. But whatever the case, even we love them. Number 7. They filmed the neighborhood scenes outside. Enough talking about the inside of the set. We should also mention that the cast and crew actually film a huge chunk of their scenes outside. Here's them doing the autumn months filming one of the neighborhood scenes at dusk. Number 6. And yes, they have to film even during the winter. Here's the hardships we were talking about before. You see, it's not always sunny in Ontario, Canada. Here's the entire cast shooting a scene in the bitter cold while the whole town is covered in snow. And when they're not shooting one of their scenes, they wear warm and thick winter jackets because, ha, it's Canada. Number five, Bailey is a complete goofball on the set. We told you she's the goofball on the set. You see, Bailey is the type of girl that lights everyone up when she walks into the room. She doesn't like to be gloomy and sad. She's always dancing and jumping around with the cast and crew. Here, you can see her taking a dance break and she just tears it up in the middle of the trailer. The best part about all of this is that she doesn't care at all who's watching. Furthermore, if you want to learn a little secret about the dressing rooms, just make sure you watch till the end. Number 4. The Radford House is different from the Nightingale House. When doing the tours of the two homes, you can clearly see that the Nightingale House is much different from the house in which Dr. Radford and his son live. As we all know, Cassie's house is warmer and more inviting with all of those plants and antique furniture. And if you look at Dr. Radford's house, you will notice a lot of modern elements and it's a bit colder than the Good Witch House. Number 3. The Grey House isn't real, but there's a little secret. Really fun memories uh, here outside of this beautiful home and the people have been really, really nice and uh, it's kind of fun to bring the series to For the movies, they shot every scene inside the actual Grey House, but for the show, they decided it would be easier to build a set and shoot all the scenes in one place. Now, whenever they have to take their scenes outside of Grey House, then they actually go on location. So even though there's an entire set, the original house exists to this day. Number 2. The dressing room has portrait photos of all the actors on the show. So, costumes. Um, we basically have all of our fittings here uh, in this room. This is one of the secrets that we talked about. In the room where the actors get fitted for all of their costumes, there's a photo of every actor that's been on the set of The Good Witch. This way, the actors have a fond memory of all their co-workers, even well after they're gone. Number 1. Everyone loves shooting the Halloween scenes. We're here on the set of our new Hallmark Good Witch Halloween event. So please, come with us and have a backstage look at what we're all up to. As you already know, Halloween is a big deal on the set of The Good Witch. All of the games, the fair, and the decorations are specifically done for the set. And here in these videos, you can see how all of the preparations are being done. Just watch them drag that giant pumpkin on the set. On a related note, are you like us and think that The Good Witch is grossly underrated by viewers? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, Thanks for watching, guys.